Friends, welcome back again back to this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. In this video, I'm going to be working with you guys, showing you and explaining to you what's Python SQLite 3. Now, to get started in this video, I'm going to just walk with you, show you some few things, telling you some few things as we explain on our few previous codes. Now, this I remember you guys we happen to download our stuff around here and I think where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So I think this is where we stopped on the previous video. And I'm going to be working with you telling you some few stuff here. Where we need you guys to be ready to get started to. I'm going to be using today this simple shell because I never want to waste a lot of time today. So I'm going to be working with you. But I want to first explain to you some few things. Remember on Python installation we did all those stuff. So join Python adding them to the script to the environment variable we did that. And also SQLite we have so far downloaded the power DB SQLite 3 we so far already have it all the requirements settled up now on our PC we have it that settled. Or we already have it that in, within our PC. Or we can actually also create a virtual environment to handle, handle all our stuff in the virtual environment. Uh, for you guys who only need to, to, to work on virtual environment. Like for instance here, where is it? Where is it inside a desktop? I'd create up some file called Python. Um, sorry like to use the other one so if you shake here down i have this python test and python test has something called python sqlite which is this so python sqlite we we had decided to to start to do the stuff inside an inversion environment we can actually do that still because we have already created up our simple a simple stuff so you can still create up a virtual environment here to handle these files so i can do that with you guys right now again very fast so that way we have also that settled but though uh, I may simply say it is it may not be very very important because we are not looking to a virtual environment I want to just do this I'll, sh I'll show that on a virtual environment in the next video but let me just explain to you this very little remember with uh, with the skill i3 can be easily be integrated with python uh, python 3 skill i3 can easily be created in python 3 model uh, which was written by one of us jihad uh, Ari. it provides the skill interface com complement with the db api tool uh, specification designed by PIC uh, 249. So you need to, uh, you don't need to install the module separate because it's being uh, shipped by default along with the Python version 2 and above. So you can always have it with you. But again, if you're dealing up with this kind of application, some most time you need to come up with uh, having up on a skill i3 to have it in your PC. And also, Python 3 with the uh, skill, it, it's very, very stable and easy to use. There's not much kind of problem. Though we are going to be learning some few things to understand, like the class, you know, the sensor class, the optional parameters that we have to use, and also coming up with the skill statements and command, the, ex the sensor execution uh, command and the fetch command, which we shall be looking onto and fetching them into our MySQL starter uh, kind of application. The connection, they commit the roll pack, the cross, and the fetch loan, and all those other stuffs that we are going to be looking into on this video. Now, with that, to cut the story short, I'll just go back into our pip, onto our Python 3 uh, IDE, and we type to try to see how to fetch up Python and SQLite. Remember, this is really a Python and showing Python 3.7. To fetch up one of us a SQLite 3, we simply type on us import SQLite 3. And when hit enter without getting an error, it implies your stuff is correct. And if you type one on us print for me, uh, one as uh, SQLite 3, the one we happen to import, it should tell you the directory and where Python 3 uh, SQLite actually is being installed in your PC. Now, I'm just going to be writing some few stuff to write and uh, to pick up one of us at the connection. Like, for instance, we said here one of us import SQLite 3. You can even say import SQLite 3 as one of us SQL. Or whatever you want if you want to import a sql is good that implies if i simply say print for me sql the python knows that you are simply trying to mean the same thing and the program will understand what you're trying to talk to and definitely will give you the output based on what you're trying to say so that's what i may say up now now that's a simple way so you guys i want us to make sure that this step you're already done with it and you can do so the next step i'm going to show you the connection with sql but why don't why don't they do in the same field? Let me just do it right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually say con equals to the parameter. So which parameter are we going to be using? So since I've already imported mine as SQL, so I'll simply say SQL dot one on us uh, connect. Remember it has that parameter called the connect, so you simply say connect like that. And what I connected this time around, we are connecting up the database. So this one here I didn't specify where the database is going to be stored. 
But remember, it's going to be stored into a temp file because I didn't specify. But in the next video, I'm going to specify that. Like, for instance, if you're creating a database called test.db, like that. So at the time I hit enter, the database is going to be created. And if maybe I would do a chance to print, though this one now we cannot print it, like me print, uh, maybe open, maybe database, if that's the case, or whatever, blah, blah. Uh, it, this is just a different thing because we cannot print this. We, we, it is ready, you know, we already have the database. So if you go inside uh, one on us, the, the, the one on us, the local DB program, Python script, lib, blah, blah, square theory, initialize we should find that database there so in a simple term i'm going to show you in the next video on how to simplify create up a folder have your database inside there have all your python files there and work in a general way so guys thanks for watching this video but i hope you guys are ready you should be in this platform you should be with me in the same stage at the moment so thanks for watching love you thank you